Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. So ECS adds Elastic Load Balancer Health Check Grace Periods. Workspaces now supports configurable storage and switching between hardware, and we announce Guru of the Week. I'm Ryan Krinenberg, and you're watching AWS This Week. So ECS has added an ELB health check grace period, and previously, if your ECS task took too long to start, your Elastic Load Balancer health check would mark the task as unhealthy, and the service scheduler would come in and terminate the task a bit too early. Now what you can do is specify a health check grace period, and this instructs the service scheduler to ignore the ELB health checks for a predefined period of time after your task has started. So they've solved this issue all in one go. So there's actually two new features available for AWS Workspaces, and they are pretty cool updates. The first is that you can configure how much storage your workspace gets when you first launch it, and you can also increase the amount of storage for a running workspace instance at any given time. There's a ceiling of one terabyte, and it's worth noting that once you increase your storage, you can't reduce it afterwards. And the second is actually my favorite. It's really, really cool. Um, basically, you can go in and change the hardware that your workspace is running on with a simple reboot. So if you're running some application intensive software, perhaps you're running 3D modeling, you can actually go in and temporarily upgrade the hardware that your instance is running on. You can then run that application, do all the stuff that you need to do, and then downgrade it afterwards. And when you do this, you have full access to the operating systems, to the application, and all your files. It's just a normal workspace instance, but it runs faster. It's seriously cool stuff. So lastly, we're going to announce Guru of the Week. And this has never happened before, but actually no one got the question uh, correct. So we're going to extend the question for another week. Uh, all the answers that you see before Sunday are wrong. So we'll, we want to see who is going to be the very first Guru of the Week for 2018. If you do get the answer correct and you're selected, you'll win an exclusive t-shirt, a sticker, a hand-signed card by me, and you'll get the chance to win a free ticket to reInvent 2018. So I just wanted to wish all my students a very happy new year. 2017 has been amazing um, for both us and our company. We've really enjoyed teaching you. We're really looking forward to 2018, and if you you know, if you're struggling for a New Year's resolution, um, go out and get AWS certified. And if you are already AWS certified, go out and get, you know, the next level, go up to professional or go out and get specialty. So keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Have a fantastic New Year's Eve, and I'll see you in 2018.